Now let's study about efficiency of a transformer. We already said that if a power losses in a transformer are accounted, we always have power delivered at secondary coil of transformer will be less than power supplied to primary coil of the transformer. Or we can always write ES IS will be less than EP IP because if there are some power losses, the power delivered at secondary coil will be always less. So here, as we know how efficiency is defined as output by input, here we can write transformer efficiency. This can be written as eta is equals to power delivered at secondary coil of transformer divided by power supplied at primary coil of transformer multiplied by 100. This will be the transformer efficiency in percentage. This we can write as ESIS divided by EPIP because we know power delivered at secondary coil is ESIS and that supplied to primary coil is EPIP multiplied by 100 percent and this power delivered to secondary coil can also be written as EPIP minus power losses in the transformer divided by EPIP multiplied by 100 in percent this is the way how we define and calculate transformer efficiency. And if there is no power loss, we can directly write in case of power losses are zero or for an ideal transformer we are defining the efficiency will be 100 percent which are power is supplied to primary coil will be as it is delivered at the secondary coil of transformer.